The period of operation against Novorossiya comes at $6.3 million for the Ukrainian economy daily, President Petro Poroshenko said. This is an enormous sum for our country, but we are not going to economize on the defense. The president emphasized at Saturday's meeting on the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine. We think much more enormous that Ukrainian army kills civilians. Russia will not leave Washington's hostile actions without response. The United States will be fully to blame for the consequences, Russian Foreign Ministry spokesman Alexander Lukashevich said in connection with the signing by U.S. President Barack Obama of the Ukraine Freedom Support Act. We do not leave hostile actions on the part of Washington without response. We will be making decisions on possible response measures depending on how the United States will use the new law in practice, he said. German journalists estimate that the country can survive for 80 days without gas supplies from Russia. 88% of Germany's gas demand is supplied from abroad, with 40% coming from Russia, so Deutsche Zeitung reports. Russia is Germany's largest gas supplier behind Norway. Russia has always fulfilled its agreement with Germany, even during the Cold War, said Dietrich Weise, head of the control center at Open Grid Europe. But what to do if all supplies will cut, Dietrich Weise do not know. The U.S. Central Intelligence Agency has issued advice for its agents on how to infiltrate international passport control systems, including in the European Union and the Schengen area, according to two previously undisclosed documents published by Wikileaks on Sunday. The European Union's Schengen biometric-based border management systems pose a minimal identity threat to U.S. operational travelers because their primary focus is illegal immigration and criminal activities, not counterintelligence, reads one of the documents documents dated January 2012. The CIA's advice booklet, entitled Schengen Overview, gives detailed information on customs procedures in Europe and threats they pose to agents using false documents. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.